<coughs> ay uh, bago ko po kayo bagi na ng salita ng Diyos sa topic na ito, nais ko munang batingin kayo ng Happy 2023. Oh. <laughs> Pinati ka kasi ni Karen eh. Happy New Year na. Sabi ko, may Happy New Year ka ba? <laughs> Wala po kasing uh, biblical warrant to celebrate New Year just like uh, Christmas. At kung celebrate man ito, it should be on the first month, on the first day of the first month in God's calendar, the Hebrew calendar. Sa Gregorian, yes, it is. Uh, 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 pero ang New Year talaga, Kaso nga, hindi naman pinag-diriwang. Unlike, kung ganun sa ka-importante at nais na sa pagdiwang, sasabihin niya eh. Uh, di ba yung mga feast, no? Sabi, on the, on the 14th day of the first month, it's the Lord's Passover. On the first day of the seventh month, you shall blow trumpets. On the 15th day, so may date, no? Eh, kaya yung mga... ano Christmas at uh, New Year dumilipas lang yan no na but yet but then again no let us not uh, uh tayo yung KJ no tayo yung uh, pag binati tayo diba tiin din natin no holiday naman eh yan walang pasok amen so ang ating pong topic ay uh, Attending worship services. <laughs> no? The first message for uh, the year 2023. Sabi nyo, ba't naman yan ang message mo? Uh, ba't hindi New Year's resolution? Eh, wala nga New Year eh. Okay. So, I, uh, I believe that uh, we all need to hear this uh, message. No? sa simula ng 2023 dahil uh, every Sunday which is the first day of the week which is the Lord's Day we gather to worship the God of the universe. Sinasamba natin tuwing linggo ang Diyos na may likha ng langit at lupa. And the worship of God edifies us. Huh? It brings us joy. It strengthens and encourages us. Amen? Di ba pag yung buong linggo, nagtrabaho ka, tapos pahinga ka ng saba, tapos attend ka ng uh, parang ayaw mong umati ng Sunday dahil napapagod ka na parang hindi pa nag, nakasapat yung uh, pahinga mo ng Sabado. Pero nung ikaw ay umatin, nakaramdam ka ng physical na restoration. ikaw ay uh, nasiyahan, na-encourage ka, dumating ka nung Sunday morning na dudugo-dugo ka, pero pagkatapos mong uh, makadalo, sumamba sa Panginoon, ikaw ay nakaramdam ng encouragement, no? ng para bang may boost, no? Para kang na-injection na ng, ano, ng, uh, ng uh, vitamin E, no? Meron kang energy, at ikaw ay, uh, no? kasi ang, ang Every Sunday, para tayo pupunta sa ano sa sa spa, sa clinic, no? Re- nagre-rejuvenate tayo, nare-restore tayo, no? Kung meron tayo mga dinaramdam, no? Magpapapray tayo, di ba? Para tayo, para tong hospital, parang ano, yung, yung uh, when the church gathers on Sunday, no? When they congregate, para silang ano, para silang Nga, parang clinic, no? It is good for us to be together with those who want to worship God. Yung mga gustong sumamba sa Panginoon, no? Napakasarap kasama yan. Yung ang, ang dahilan kung bakit sila pupunta ng Sunday, gusto nilang sumamba sa Panginoon. Mahal nila ang Panginoon, kaya sila nais nice makipag-niig uh, sa Panginoon. Diba, from Monday to 
namin up to Saturday kung kung nagtatrabaho ko kayo hanggang Sabado. You spend your week around those in the world. Mostly, ang inyong mga kaiskwela, hindi naman mga mana ng palataya. Ang inyong kasama sa trabaho, hindi naman mga mana ng palataya. Amen? Oh. Diba? And sometimes, uh, they can be discouraging, di ba? Yung kanilang mga kanda, yung kanilang mga karakter, yung kanilang mga sinasabi, hindi naman nakaka-edify, hindi naman nakaka-encourage. No? But during worship service, no? this is a time when you spend time with people of same precious faith. Amen. Alam niyo po, hindi lamang po mahalaga sa atin ang worship. Mahalaga sa Diyos ang worship. Not only is worship important to us, it is also important to God. Bakit kanyo? Worship is a subject that He has given a lot of emphasis in the Scripture. Yung pong mention ng word na worship is 191 times in the Bible. Sa Old Testament, 113 times. And in the New Testament, 78 times. When God mentioned it once, sabihin lang ng Diyos minsan eh, mahalaga na, di po ba? Amen? But He mentioned it almost 200 times, 200 occurrences in the Bible. So we should be very interested in the study of this topic. Let's start with some specific things related to worship. So, What is worship? To adore or to pay divine honors to deity. Yan ang sabi ng Webster's Dictionary. Tandaan natin ha, para hindi tayo maligaw doon sa tunay na kahulugan ng pagsamba. To adore, to pay divine honors to deity. My eyes adore you. No one never be. My eyes adore you. Ibang merong lapis na pagmamahal. And then, pay divine honors. No? Divine honors to deity. Sa isang Diyos. And then, the Greek word of worship is proskuneo. Na ang ibig sabihin, to kiss toward to do obeisance, to prostrate oneself, to pay homage, to show deep respect. Tandaan natin na, yan ang ibig sabihin ng proskuneo. Obeisance, prostrate, pay homage, to show deep respect. That is worship. When the word worship was derived from the Anglo-Saxon word worship, which means to declare the worth of God. When we worship, we declare the worth of God. Yung halaga ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Atin itong pinoproklama. Amen? So in the Bible, there are four different types of worship. Number one is ignorant worship. Here in the picture, you can see Paul in uh, Mars Hill or In Acts 17, 21 to 23, you can read, For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. In other translation, too religious. 
For as I passed by and beheld your devotion, I found an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God, whom therefore you ignorantly worship him, uh, you ignorantly worship him, declare I unto you. Ano po yung, uh, and in verse 30, In the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Referring to the sinful means of worship ng mga Grego doon sa atin. What is ignorant worship? When people engage in an act that they call worship, but God had not defined as worship. Anytime that people engage in an act that they call worship, nakakala nila, worship yun. No? Pero hindi naman dinipay ng Diyos na worship. It's ignorant worship. Could we be guilty of ignorant worship today? Hello? Anytime no, the people engage in an act that they call worship, that they believe as worship, is worship. Pero hindi dinipayin ng Diyos na worship. It's ignorant worship. Now let's go to the second uh, type of uh, worship described in the Bible. Vain worship. In Matthew 15, 8 and 9, sabi dyan, These people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. The word vain means, ibig sabihin ng vain, hindi po ito ugat, no? vain, huh? V-A-I-N, empty, Worthless, meaningless. May mga tao ba sa labas? Kasi tao nga sila. So, that's the meaning of the word. no? Empty, sabihin, hungkag. Worthless, walang kabuluhan. Meaningless, walang kahulugan. No? And vain worship, sorry, and vain worship, as uh, Jesus told the scribes and Pharisees, no? na-dress na ito sa mga pariseo at mga scriba, eh. they have corrupted the worship of God by adding their own commandments. Yan ang sabi ng, ano, ng Matthew 15, 8 and 9. These people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Ha? Tao na nagsasalita, inoonor ang Diyos sa kanilang uh, mga labi, pero sabi ng Panginoon, yung kanilang puso, malayo sa akin. No? That's why in vain do they worship me. Diba? Ano yung meaning ng worship? To pay divine honors, to pay homage. So, they honor, divine honor to the deity. So, tama, worship. Pero, sabi ng Panginoon, it's vain worship. Why? They teach us doctrines, the commandments of men. Hello? Kaya ang tawag sa kanila, Hypocrites. In Matthew 15, verse 7, as prophesied by Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah. Are you getting the meaning? Amen? So what is vain worship? 
When you worship God with your lips, but not with your heart. Can we be guilty of vain worship? Of course, yes. When I worship God with my lips, but not with my heart, it is vain worship. At yung mga vain worship, hanggang siling lang, nakakarating yun. Hanggang kisami lang. Hindi yun umahabot sa Diyos. Why? Because it's empty, it's worthless, and it is meaningless. Pag sumasamba ka sa Panginoon na wala sa puso, vain worship. Pag umaawit ka ng all to Jesus, I surrender. Pero yung puso mo naman, hindi fully surrendered sa Panginoon. Sabi, all to Jesus, I sur- lahat to surrender ko. Pero hindi ka nag-offering. Mini-withhold mo pa yung ties mo. Kala ko surrender. Sabi, anong, anong ibig sabihin nun? Bain worship. Kasi sinasabi mo, pero hindi totoo sa'yo. Hello? So, can we be guilty of bain worship? Yes! Pag umaawin ka sa Panginoon, pero wala namang ano. Sabihin, hindi naman totoo sa'yo. I surrender all. I surrender all. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice. Totoo ba talaga? Mahal mo ang Panginoon. Bakit hindi mo sinusunod ang kanyang mga batas? Bakit hindi mo pinagdiriwang ang kanyang kapistahan? Pangatlo pong type of worship na describe sa Bible is real worship. No, hindi po ito yung worship ni Willie Rebellion. No? It is self-device or self-chosen worship. Yung sariling invento at sariling diskarte o sariling uh, pagpili kung ano ang pagsamba. Yan po ay uh, ay uh, Dinescribe o no, uh, binigyan ng, uh, ng uh, uh, admonition sa Bible sa Colossians 2.23. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. Alam niyo po si Cain ay isang halimbawa ng will worship. Remember the story of Cain and Abel, no? Si Cain, he offered to God what suited him. Yung kumpinyente sa kanya. Yung gusto niya. At hindi ko ano ang nirequire ng Diyos na alay. And this might be the most popular type of worship today. Dahil ngayon, ang lipunan natin is into the entertainment factor. Kung sa tingin nila na magdodraw ng crowd, no? meron pa silang mga theatrics, meron pa silang parang concert, ang, ano, ang, uh, ang uh, worship service. No? To the point of worshiping, worship itself. No? Tatingnan nyo yung pong mga karamihan sa mga grupong yan. No? Lumilihis ang kanila pong mga doktrina and mostly they are doctrines of men. So, can we be guilty of will worship? Yes, again. No? Kung ipipilit natin na sumamba sa Diyos sa ating kaparaanan. No? o sa ating uh, uh, piniling pamamaraan na hindi naman pinrescribe ng scripture. And then the fourth is true worship. True worship. Ayan. Sabi ng John 4.23, 
But the hour is coming and it's now here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such people to worship Him. So there is such thing as true worship. Dahil ang inahanap ng Panginoon ay true worshipers. Huh? And true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And there are three aspects of true worship. First, the proper object. Next, the proper focus. And the third aspect is the proper acts. Well, let's start with the proper object. The object of our worship must be correct in order for us to have true worship. Amen? Dapat tama ang, ang uh, subject o yung object ng ating pagsamba. And of course, the object of acceptable worship is is God. Amen. Wala nang iba. God is seeking true worshipers to worship Him. Amen? And now let's discuss the proper focus. So again, the focus of our worship must also be correct in order for our worship to be true. Amen? Sabi ng John 4.24, pag binalikan natin, our worship must be in spirit and in truth. Now, that means that your heart, your mind, your spirit is focused on worshiping God. So, your focus is on worship. No? Sometimes we say, Amen sa pangangaral. No? Ngayon, habang nagsasalita ako ngayon, yung isip, di ba, nandito? No? Or are your mind is already wandering, iniisip nyo, anong... Ano kayong lunch after the service? Ba? Ano kayong mamaya panunoorin ko sa Netflix pagkatapos ng service pag uwi ko ng bahay? Come on! Di ba? Hello! We, say, we, we sing songs. No, kanina, nag-aawitan tayo. Kung umaawit ba tayo? Talagang inaawit din natin sa Panginoon? O... We are just going through the motion dahil kailangan kumanta. Kailangan sumabay. Ano naman ang isip natin habang umaawit tayo? Hello? Ha? Talaga bang Diyos ang, ang ano? Are we really focused on worshiping God? Diba? Mentally, you're thinking of yung lunch na isa-serve mamaya. <laughs> Ang isipan mo, wala. No? Nandito nga ang katawan mo. Ang isipan mo, lilipad. No? You have not been focused on worship. And your heart has not been on it. Wala sa puso mo ang pagsamba. Hello? O baka iniisip mo na yung, yung trabaho mo sa kinabukasan, kung ano yung gagawin mo. Eh, ang oras na na ngayon ay oras ng pagsamba. Amen? Yung pangatlong aspect ng uh, true worship is proper acts. Prayer, preaching of the word, and then of course, sabi niya, yung, when there is preaching, there is hearing of the word of God, Communion, the Lord's Supper, yung offering, singing, dancing, kasama na din ang pagsusug ng instrumento. Yan ang elemento ng worship. No? Sabi ni Apostle John that we must worship God in spirit and in truth. In truth means we are going to do it the way the Bible specifies. And God has specified these acts or these avenues of worship. 
prayer, preaching, communion, offering, singing, dancing. Amen? Yan ang worship. Yan ang ginagawa kapag sumasamba. No? Ngayon, isang paglilinaw. Worship and serving. Alam nyo, there is this idea that everything we do in life is worship. That's not true. Na lahat daw ng ating ginagawa sa ating buhay ay pagsamba. No? And many Christians have bought the idea. Why? Because they can choose what they think for themselves as worship. Hello? All worship is service to God. But not all service to God is worship. We need to differentiate the two. There is difference in our worship to God and our daily service as Christians among the people of the world. Notice in the Old Testament, no? si Abraham and other patriarchs, they pause a special times to worship God. Anong ginagawa nila? They establish an altar and they make a sacrifice. And that is separate and distinct from their walking with God daily. Hello? <laughs> Ang sabi ng Panginoon sa Matthew 4.10, dalawang word, no? Yung worship and service, magkaiba po ang ginamit na Greek word. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila parehas. Worship and service is different. Are two different things. Then Jesus said to him, oh, it, it was uh, during the temptation in the wilderness, sabi niya kay Satanas, be gone or get be behind me, Satan. It is written, you shall worship proskuneo. Shall worship the Lord your God, and Him only shall you serve. Latreyo. So hindi po siya proskuneo. So the idea that everything we do in life is worship is not true. Iksabihin pag nag pag nag hugas ka ng pinggan, worship na yon. Huh? If you are not, even if you are washing the Jesus as church, huh? that is not worship. It is service. Amen? Kaya yung mga ano, yung, yung pagduduto, sabi hindi, hindi, ang worship naman, kahit, kahit saan eh, kahit na nagluluto kami, hindi, ang worship dito, upo ka dito. Kaya nga si Martha, ang, ang sabi niya, ang Panginoon sa kanya, Martha, Martha, oh, one thing is needful. Ano one thing is needful? No? It's not only needed, it's needful. No? More than needed, it's needful that you sit at my feet. Amen? Kaya yung nga rin, nagdulot. Sabi niya, nagwa-worship. No! Kaya ang paghahanda ng pagkain, before, hindi during the service. Hello? Hindi sabi oh, nag-worship naman ako dahil ginagawa ko ito para sa Panginoon. Hindi ka nag-worship. You are serving. Pero the time to worship is now. Amen? When you take a shower, are you worshiping? When you watch television, that is not worship. Hello? Anything else that we might call worship at its best is vain worship or empty or will worship. Kaya nga maganda yung mga, alam ko kung ako masusunod, 
yung mga naghahawak ng mga sa technical natin, sa equipment natin, yung talagang ano na. Yung talagang mature talaga na they can worship God while doing their thing. Nakikinig talaga sila. Hindi yung feeling exempted. No? O yung mga musicians, no? pagkatapos sumugtog, lalabas. Parang na, nag-worship na sila. Hello? Kaya yung mga, no, encourage you na kahit nag, nagko-control kayo dyan, nag-shift kayo from one slide to another sa ating mga lyrics sa song, sumasamba din kayo, umaawit din kayo. Hello? Hello, mga, mga tech people dyan. Wala pong exempted. Kaya nga ka pumunta dito. Anong reason? Kaso, hindi pa ba? No? Yes, we have roles to play. No? We have responsibilities during the worship service. But let us not forget the very purpose why we are here is to worship God. To give Him divine honor. To give Him divine respect. To pay homage. To lie prostrate. Amen. To pay obeisance. No? Bakit ba tayo umahatin ng worship services? Ano ba naman ito si Pastor? Eh? Bagong bagong tayo ni Rabbi Manermo. No? Why should we, should we attend worship services? Una muna, to seek first God's kingdom. Sabi ng Matthew 6.33, but seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. Maraming mga messages sa Facebook about ano. Walang mention sa Diyos. Walang mention na hanapin. Sorry, hanapin. Puro sa sarili. No? Kasi ngayon na tayo ay anak na ng Diyos, we have a new set of priorities. Bago nila lang tayo, we have new set of values in life. Amen? Ang pananampalataya natin, kristyano, so ang ating kultura, kristyano. Amen? Yung mahalaga sa atin, ang, si Kristo at ang kanyang katawan, ang iglesia. It is different now, more than anything else. We want to be in God's presence. And so, I'm going to be at worship. Why? Because I'm seeking the kingdom of God. Amen. Another reason why we should, why we should attend worship services. To be with people of like faith. Si Apostle Peter, describe yung past life ng mga taong sinusulatan niya. Sabi niya, from the time that is past suffices for doing what the Gentiles want to do. Living in sensuality, passion, drunkenness, orgies, drinking parties, and lawless idolatry. With respect to this, they are surprised when you do not join them in the same flood of debauchery. And they malign you. They say evil against you. Di ba? Noon tayo ay... Uh, bagong mananampalataya. Dati meron tayong mga uh, kaibigan na ang lifestyle ganito, no? Party party, mga yung mga inuman, no? Na uh, wild party, no? At nung ikaw ay nakakala sa Panginoon, so dumi distansya ka na, no? Dumalayo ka na. Iba na ngayon ang gusto mo. Iba na ngayon ang uh, lifestyle mo. Di ba? No? You would rather spend your time sa gawain ng Panginoon kaysa maki-join sa kanila. Kaya sabi dito, with respect to this, they are surprised when you do not join them in the same flood of debauchery. Tataka sila, bakit? But ayaw mo na. No? Ano nangyari? No? 
So, yung mga kaibigan mo ngayon, sabi, they malign you. No? They say evil against you. Oh, wala ka nang pakisama na. Kasi nga, meron tayong bagong set of values. Bagong nila lang na tayo. Amen? We're new creation. New set of priorities, new set of values. No? And when we continue to uh, stick with our old uh, parkada, yung mga dati nating We are warned, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Bad company corrupts good character. No? Kapag ikaw, it's, hindi ko sinasabi na huwag nyo na silang kaibiganin. They can still be your friends. No? Pero kung wag mo na silang sasamahan sa mga bagay na sa tingin mo, hindi makakabuti sa'yo at magdalala lamang sa'yo ng pagkalayo sa Diyos. It's either na mawin mo sila o ikaw ang mawin nila. And in, in most cases, no, ikaw ang, nadad, ikaw ang nahahatap kabalik. So, dati, bagong daan, ngayon, dating gawi. Because bad company corrupts good character. Binago ka na eh. No? Huwag ka nang bumalik sa sinuka mo. No? Do not return to your own vomit. Huwag kang gumahay sa aso na binabalikan yung sinuka niya. The third reason why should we attending worship services? Dahil inuto sa atin na pumunta rin. We are commanded to be there. No? We ought to be like David. No? I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. No? Pag sabihan mo yung asawa mo, o yung anak mo, oh, bako na, gising na. Ate na tayo ng, ano, ng worship service. Naantok pa ako. Dito na lang tayo. Pwede na tayo ng Netflix. Pwede namang mag-worship sa ano eh. Zoom na lang tayo. No? Hello. Are you glad that you are coming to the house of the Lord? There is the biblical warrant no, for the Sunday service. Uh, sa Acts 27, sabi niya, on the first day of the week, when we were gathered together to break bread, to break bread is communion, Lord's Supper, Paul talked with them, intending to depart on the next journey, prolonged speech until midnight. And then, in Hebrews 10, 24, 25, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Even during the time of writing this uh, letter to the Hebrews, meron ng forsaking ng assembly. Meron na ng papabaya. Meron ng hindi umaaten. No? Meron na yung uh, hindi consistent sa kanilang attendance. No? It is commanded not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. And then, sabi dito, and so much more, the more, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. What's the day approaching? The end of days. Yung pagwawakas. Dahil sabi, in the last days, no, the love of many will wax cold. No? Perilous times will come. No? Maraming mga lies na sinungalingan, wonders, no? lying wonders. 
na kung hindi ka matibay sa iyong pananampalataya, ikaw ay maloloko. No? Kailangan matibay ang iyong pananampalataya. Paano ba pinapatibay ang pananampalataya? Sa pamagitan ng pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. No? And during the assembling of ourselves together, during worship services, no? we get to hear the word of God. No? Na we are being exposed to the truth. At anong ginagawa ng katotohanan? Nagpapalaya sa atin. At nagbibigay liwanag sa atin. Nagpapatibay sa ating pananampalataya. No? It's a point of clarification. No? Yung, a person is not forsaking the assembling when one is provincial, providentially hindered. Kapag may sakit ka, wala problema. No? You are providentially hindered. No? Pero yung nasing, ano ka lang, nasing, na, na, nasinghot ka lang, no? Uy, may agi ako. Hindi na ako atin. minsan ka lang na ano na nabahin no may pumasok pala sa iyo ano ay hindi na ko atin skills no you are providentially hindered no duty ka sa remote ano ikaw ay uh, uh, pinadala sa bundok yung trabaho inabot ka ng linggo doon so you are providentially hindered no wala kang choice no You are deployed sa military duty. So, nasa gera ka, nasa ano ka. Ako nung uh, nag-train ako sa Germany, pinilit ko kumakatin ng church. Kahit sa German, ano, sa Lutheran church na aktong yung, ano, yung uh, preaching. Buti na lang may, ano, may uh, translation. No? Naka-headset kami. First time ko doon mag-ano, mag-communion uh, na ano. From the chalice, iinom ka. Golden, ano. Yung mga, hindi, huwag ka maghahanap ng excuse. No? Kapag araw ng pagsamba, commitment natin sa Panginoon yun. No? Date yun eh. No? It's a covenantal undertaking that on that day, We're going to worship God. No? So, hindi forsaking, baka sabihin nyo, paano naman yung, ano, yung magbo-board exam ako Sunday? You are providentially hindered. No? Ang forsaking kasi, yung pinili mo na hindi umatend. No? Kung pwede naman. That is forsaking. No? Forsaking is something that a person chooses to do. Dahil hindi mo ginusto. Pwede naman. So it is a matter of the heart. No? Do I really want to attend? But I can't or have I simply chosen not to attend? Wala lang. Hello? So why should we attend service, worship services? Pangapat na dahilan. We miss out when I'm not there. Ano na mi-miss natin kapag hindi tayo, no? Ano ang nawawala kapag hindi tayo nakakaten? No? We miss worshiping the God of the universe. Imagine nyo, ang pupuntahan nyo, ang Diyos ng San Sinukob, ang Diyos na may likha ng langit at lupa. Hindi lang kayo pupunta sa White House, hindi lang kayo pupunta ng Malacanang. You're going to the house of the Lord. Suppose, you had a lunch appointment sa iyong kaibigan. Tuesday, morning, Tuesday 11 o'clock in the morning. No? Tapos hindi nagpakita. No show. No? Iniindyan ka. Hindi sino po. Tapos, Nung hapon, nakita mo sa mall. Sabi sa'yo, sabi ko, oh, eh, di ba meron tayong usapan kanina? Ba't hindi ka nakarating? Wala eh. Hindi ako nakarating eh. 
O yung kaibigan mong yun, lalaki, ginawa mong best man sa wedding mo. Pero on the day of the wedding, hindi nagpakita. And later, nakita mo ulit. Sabi niya kasi Sabado yung, yung wedding, eh Sabado lang ang day of the So anong, anong ano doon? Contemptuous yun. Sa gusto mong aling. Pag sinabi mo nga, Christian ka, di ba? You're supposed to attend. No? Merong covenantal, ano ka, responsibility to worship on the Lord's day. No? When a person chooses not to attend, when he could, no? You, pwede naman eh. Hindi ka naman providentially hindered eh. No? You are manifesting a deeper problem. Do not love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. If that's the case, is the greatest commandment in the law. Yan ang katotohanan. Hello. talaga mahal ng sobra. Don't love him that much. Siguro mahal mo lang siya. Pero ano yung pagmahal mo isang tao? Gusto mo laging kasama. Ako nga, nung niliga ako si Sir Angie, hinatid ko na nung gabi eh. Tatawagan ko ulit sa telepono eh. Di ba? Yung madaan ng, mada, dumaan lang ako doon sa bahay nila, ayos na ako. mahal mo yung tao. Di ba? O ngayon, sa'yo, mahal natin ang Panginoon. O. Sa araw ng date nyo, date natin sa Panginoon ng ano, Sunday, di ba? Di ba? And then you choose not to attend dahil wala lang. O. May problema. Hindi mo talaga mahal si Lord ang Panginoon ng buong mong puso. Mahalin, mahal mo eh. Pero hindi mo siya mahal ng iyong buong puso, ng buong iyong pag-iisip, at ng iyong buong lakas. Yan ang pinakamahalagang batas. The greatest commandment in the law, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. So ano pa na miss natin kapag di tayo umati ng worship service? We miss communing with God. Sabi ng Matthew 26:29, I tell you, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it in you, with you in my Father's kingdom. No? Hindi na natin kasama yung mga disciples, sabi, sabi sa kanyang mga disipulo. You will not drink again of this fruit of the vine no? when he instituted this communion. Until the day when I drink it, you with you in my Father's kingdom. That's why in 1 Corinthians 10.16, ginagawa natin every Sunday, nagko-communion tayo. Sabi yun, the cup of blessing which He blessed, this is not the communion of the blood of Christ. The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? Pag hindi tayo nakakapag- at in Sunday, hindi tayo nakakapag-partake ng katawan ni Kristo, ng dugo ni Kristo. Hindi tayo nakakapag-renew ng ating tipanan sa Panginoon at tipanan natin sa ating kapwa mananampalataya. So, yan ang namimiss natin. No? Pangalawa sa namimiss natin. We miss communing with God. And then the third We miss the teaching and growth that worship services offer. Hello. Ang sabi ng Hosea 
My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So anong karamihan sa mga kristyanong napapa naliligaw? Ano yung nadidiskaril ang kanilang lakad pa na ng prataya? Yung hindi umatend ng services. Hello? No? Eh, ang sabi ng 2 Peter 3.18, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. What will cause our growth? Spiritually. The Word of God. Mag-compute lang po tayo. Let's do some, some uh, math. No? Suppose, no, yung first column, umangatin ito, si, uh, sabihin natin si, ano, si, uh, si Mr. X, saka si Mr. Y. Si Mr. X, umangatin siya ng lahat ng worship services during the week. No? Sunday, AM service, Sunday PM service. Dati meron tayong PM service, di ba? Di ba? Mungatan po tayo ng PM service. No? Plus Wednesday na service in the evening. So ilan yan? Tatlo. Sa loob ng salingko. O assume natin na wala tayong PM service. No? Palda natin ng Bible study na meron ding elemento ng, ng uh, parang service. No? Every week, no, meron kang natututunan na tatlong facts si Mr. X. Kasi, umaaten siya ng lahat ng worship services sa linggo na yon. Tatlong facts, tatlong katotohanan, tatlong lesson on life. Ito naman si Mr. Y, no, Sunday lang. No, Sunday lang siya. <laughs> Oh, sa umaga lang, no? So, one fact, one lesson, one truth, no? Monthly. So, every month, si Mr. X, meron siyang labing dalawang facts kasi lahat ng services yung mga tulad niya. May natutunan siyang labing dalawang lesson, isang dosena, no? As compared to Mr. Y, dahil Sunday service lang siya sa umaga. Apat lang. Dahil apat na Sunday sa isang buwan. Sa loob ng isang taon, si Mr. X, nakaka-144 facts, nakaka-144 lessons, nakaka-144 na katotohanan na natutunan. Compared kay Mr. Y, 48 facts lang. After 10 years, as a Christian, si Mr. X, nakagather siya, nakarinig siya ng 1,440 facts. 1,440 na lessons, 1,440 na katotohanan. Itong si Mr. Y, na Sunday lang, umaga, no, 480 facts. Now, sino ang tatanungin ko? Sino ang magmamature dito? Sino rito on the day of judgment? Ay matutuwa. Ay kadudugdan ng Panginoon. Eh, ang problema sa atin, no? Sunday nga lang, umapalya pa. isang beses na lang sa isang linggo. Pinoporsit pa ang worship. Hello! And then we ask, okay, saka naman ang kristyano, ang baba mo pa rin. Ganyan pa rin lang yun, wala ka pa rin fruit. Bakit makamundo ka pa rin? No? Eh buti nga sana kung talagang, ano yung, talagang uh, sinusundan at sinusunod yung natutunan na every Sunday. Paano kung hindi? No? Pa- 
anlima pong reason? To encourage the brethren. Kaya tayo nga din na service, gusto na, ay in- gusto natin encourage yung kapatiran. Sabi ng Hebrews 10.24, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. No? Pag umahatin tayo, no, when we uh, assemble ourselves together in worship, no, we are provoking each other to love and to good works. Hello? Amen? No? Worship is the time we encourage one another. During worship, we teach, we admonish, diba? we testify on the goodness of God. No? Nagpapatuto tayo sa kaputihan ng Panginoon. At pag nadinig yun ng mga kapatiran, may encourage. No? Pag nakano ng testimony ng, ng answered prayer, the time we encourage one another. Alam nyo, by just attending, by just being present, you are already encouraging the brethren. Kahit hindi ka magsalita. Bisan ka, pag nagsalita ka pa, pag, na, pag, di, pag takles ka, pag na, hindi ka pa nakaka-encourage, huwag ka na lang magsalita. Nandiyan ka lang, nakaka-encourage ka na. Amen? Hello? Di ba? Pag nakita na natin na puno ang mga sasakyan, oh, ang dami ang bato, ang dami, 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 nakita ko yung sasakyan. Di ba nakaka-afflip nakaka- ng, ano, ng spirit? No? Madami tayo ngayon. No? Kapag may mga new converts na faithful in attending worship, sino na encourage? Yung mga datihan, yung mga older Christians na sabi, oh, oh we are doing the right thing sa gawain ng Panginoon. No? When the youth are always attending, when the young people are, are present, ano, sino na-encourage? Yung mga matatanda. Kasi sabi nila, ito ang mga future ng community, ng church. Ito, itong mga kabataan na ito. So, happy po. No? Pag, pag wala na tayo sa, sa mundo, ito na ang papalit sa atin. We are assured na itong mga batang ito, responsable, no? na They will take on the responsibility. So that's very encouraging. Pag nakita namin kayo, mga bata kayo, na nandito, na kayo ay nasa uh, tamang lugar, no, na kayo ay uh, nagpapagamit sa Panginoon sa inyong murang edad, na-encourage yung mga matatanda. Di ba? Na mayroong papalit na, may mga ngaral, may tutugtog, mayroong mga sumusunod na sasayaw. Amen? Very encouraging. Amen? O yung mga middle age, yung mga young, yung mga young professional, kapag faithful in attending. It is strengthening to see these people na uh, inuuna ang Diyos kaysa sa kanilang karir. And they continue to be faithful. Amen? When aged people are in attendance, kapag yung mga matatanda, yung mga senior citizens, no? Sinong na-encourage? Lahat. No, isipin mo. Nakakarating din nga sila dito despite their physical limitation. No, o nakakatawa si Nanay Angeles. No? At least kahit the same. No? Kung yung matatanda, umaatin dito kahit na hirap maglakad, no? mabagal na kumilos, nagbibigay na encouragement sa lahat. So, yung mga bata, oh, ah, sila nga, ano, ako, lakas-lakas ko eh. No? With your presence, they are encouraged. With your absence, they are discouraged. Sabi ko nga, makita ko lang kayo, tuwa na ako eh. No? Huwag na kayo magsalita. Kahit hindi kayo magsalita, makita ko lang kayo, okay na kayo. No? Baka pag may sinabi pa kayo nga, nasablay eh. Ano diba? Yun lang, presence lang. It's already an encouragement. So when you make a choice not to attend, you are discouraging people. 
you make a choice that you are going to discourage the people na attend sa service na yan. But when you encourage through your presence, no? We discourage through our absence. Pag wala kayo dito. No? Di ba? Nakukod ko di ba? Nakukod. Para kasi Elijah na ano, nagtatago sa cave na pili niya, nag-iisa na lang siya. Pang-anim. Why should we attend worship services? For the sake of our children. Parents, consider what we discuss and apply them to your children. So our children need to be taught to seek first the kingdom of God, right? Our children need to be with those of like precious faith. Kailangan nila, ang kasama nila, mga malalang palataya. Tandaan natin, expose sila sa mundo, bullying ko. Kung ano-ano mga napupulot niyan, nalala, nadidinig niya sa mga ka-eskwela niyan. na hindi naman mana ng palataya. No? May mga... Di ba? They need to be with those of like precious faith. They need to learn to worship God. They need the teaching and the growth and the encouragement. No? So every time that you make that choice not to bring your children to worship, you are teaching your children that there is something more important than God. Pag hindi nyo dinadala ang inyong anak sa worship service niya. Anong itinuturo niyo sa anak niyo? Mas mahalagang maglaro kesa sumamba sa Panginoon. Hello? You are teaching your children that it is all right for God to take second place. Pending option. Ang ibatin. Hello. Kapag pinili mo na mag-outing on a Sunday, no? Ano tinuturo mo sa anak mo? Oh, kailangan mo family time on the Lord's day. Hello? Eh, ano ba mga yun? Eh? Set time yun. Eh. Date mo sa Panginoon yun. Eh. Date natin yun bilang mga manang patawa. Yun ang araw ng, ng katawan ni Kristo ay magtitipon-tipon. Ano tinuturo mo sa anak mo? Pag anong. Kaya kung magpaplano kayo ng ano, ng, huwag yung tatamaan yung Sunday. Ako, nag, nag, pag nag-out of the country, I make the point na nandito kami by Sunday. Why? It is the Lord's Day. It is the day of worship. It's a day of celebrating God's goodness. It's the time of paying homage, divine respect to our Creator, the God of the universe. Hello? <laughs> Ayaw niyo na? No? No? That's about it. No? And what about midweek services during Wednesday? Totoo, wala, walang sinabi sa Bible na mag-meet kayo during midweek services. Tama? Wala, hindi yan i-require. No? Amen? Pero mayroong ano, may, 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 may pastor akong ano, sabi niya, hindi. Anong sabi ng uh, Matthew 22.37? Ito, ito, ito ang proof na pinapatin tayo ng Wednesday. Sabi ito, and he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Na alam mo ba talaga kamalang Panginoon na, na nilimit mo lamang ang, ang iyong uh, interaction sa Kanya? 
sa isang araw. Well, hindi po uh, dogmatic yung uh, Wednesday service, no? Pero sabi ano sabi ng uh, ng Hebrews 13:17, obey them that have the rule over you and commit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, and they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable to you. So, sundin daw po natin yung mga leaders natin, yung mga elders natin. If the elders, the pastors, the shepherds think that we need to gather on Wednesday as most churches do, no? we must obey. We must attend. Amen? Ano sabi doon? As they... Sila ang nag-aalaga sa inyong mga kaluluwa. Sila ang nagbabantay. So kung sa tingin nila na kailangan pa ng feeding, kailangan pa ng pagpapakain sa inyong kaluluwa on a Wednesday, no? Sa gitna ng linggo, no? So magiging mat- matutuwa sila kapag ah, dahil sila kaya gaganahan silang magano, mag magturo. They will do it with joy, not with grief. For that is unprofitable to you. For you. Iwan ko sa inyo yung parable na ito. Sa ating pong paglalaki. Sa Luke 14, 17-20. And at the time for the banquet, he sent his servant to say those to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a field and I must go and feed it. Please have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I go to examine them. Please have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. Ano nangyari? And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and byways, hedges, and compel people to come in, that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who were invited shall taste my banquet. God is not in the business of collecting excuses. with reference to His direct commands. Anong excuse mo for not attending? Are you providentially hindered? Or do you just choose not to attend? Kain po muna sa mga puro excuse. You want to live a Christian life? Be faithful with your attendance sa church services, sa mga worship services. Masami natin is a privilege to worship God. Pero why are we forsaking Sabi niya, we love the Lord. Wow, we love the Lord. Tapos ang hindi umaten, ibang, ibang pinipili. Ang, ang, we don't love the Lord that much. Kasi pinili mo na ano, hindi umaten. Asa ng pag-ibig? So, anong tawag doon? Vain worship. It's empty, it's meaningless, it's worthless. Hallelujah. Panginoon, patawarin mo po kami. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that uh, your word does not fail to 
instruct us and to conform us to the truth. Father, we are guilty. We are we have sinned against you for forsaking the assembly that thou said to be here. Wala na po kaming pwedeng sabihing excuse. We are guilty as charged. We are guilty as presented. Patawari mo po kami, Panginoon. Panahin mo po, Panginoon, na sa mga darating na pagtitipon, kami magiging tapat sa pagdalo. Dahil mahal ka namin, ito yung inuutos, ito yung naging dahilan ng aming paglago, ito ang nagbibigay na encouragement sa iba. At sa napakarami pang dahilan kung bakit kami kailangan dumalo sa mga pagtitipon. Pahinan mo na ito, kailangan mo na pagtutuhin mo sa amin ngayon ang araw na ito. Salamat po sa pagpapatawad mo sa amin. Kasananan sa aming mga pagpapabaya. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, na maitama ang mga mali namin. Pwede mo namin ito ulitin, Panginoon. Sa bawat pagkakataon, ipiliin 